Welcome back guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to edit your videos directly from the Canva mobile app. So for this I have started this little project right here, delicious mango salad. Uh, so all I have done so far, I have chosen one of the templates from the Instagram story library and I have just slightly adjusted the title. Uh, delicious mango salad and just modify this text here at the bottom. Also, I have deleted the content from this frame right here. All right, so the first thing I want you to do when you create your videos with Canva is to think in terms of scenes, okay? So your different pages of your document will be different scenes of your final video. So in my case, my video, I want to show my audience a little recipe of a delicious mango salad. And I imagine that this recipe will be split into four scenes. So basically four different pages in my document. So the first thing I'm going to do is to set up that project to design the four different pages. So if I don't have anything selected on my design, and if you do, by all means, just tap on this little checkbox right here. And then from this screen right here, without anything selected, uh, you will see this button that says one. It should say one. If it says something else, that means you have already other pages. But go ahead and tap on that. So if you do, Canva will show you this other screen right here where you can visualize all the pages in your document. So with page one selected, what I want to do is to tap on the duplicate icon right here. So there you go. I have a second page. I'm going to tap on it and again duplicate it. And then one last time tap on it and duplicate it. So now I have my four pages that are exactly the same, right? This is simply page one replicated four times. But at least I have a clear structure of my recipe that is going to be made out of four steps. So once I'm happy with the number of steps, I'm going to tap on the little cross right here to close this window and come back to my main editor. And now I'm ready to start with the first step of my recipe, which is to cut my mango in dice. All right. So I'm going to tap on this text box and have it say, let me select it all, cut your mango in dice, cut your mango in dice. All right, done. So now I have this cut your mango in dice. And the magic here is that I want to add my video in this grid right here. Now, all I have to do is to find the video that I want to add here in this frame, right? So you might have your own video. Me, in my case, I'm going to tap on this frame and replace the content and search for cutting mango in the Canva uh, video library, cutting mango. Let's see what we have in store here. Okay, so I have a bunch of different videos here of people cutting mango, which is nice. So for now, I'm going to use this clip right here. So tapping on it, and then it will give you a preview. And that is perfect because that person is cutting the mango in dice. So that's perfect for me right now. All right, I have my first slide. The next thing I want to show you is that if you double tap on the video, you can actually reposition it in your frame, okay? so. Once you're happy with the new placement of the video, tap on done, and then you can preview again. So like this, I can see more of the little dice of mango right here. So this is actually better for my example right here. All right, I'm happy with this first uh, page, this first scene of my video. So I'm going to tap on the little check box right here. And then sliding to the right, I'm accessing my second page right here. So my second page is going to be the second scene of my video, and that is slicing your salmon. Okay, so in my mango salad recipe, I want to add fresh salmon in here. So again, similarly, I'm going to tap on the frame and then replace. And this time I'm going to search for cutting salmon. And then I will be presented with a bunch of different salmon cutting videos, which are very nice. I think I'm going to try this one. Let's see. So again, the preview here, you can see the person cutting the salmon. This is pretty cool. But what I want to do is to select only a portion of this video. I don't need the entire length of the video. So with the video selected, what I can do 
in the lower part of your screen right here in the menu here you will find these scissors okay the scissors is your way to trim the video so tap on that and then you will see at the bottom right here the entire timeline of that person cutting the salmon okay so maybe i'm interested in working from here like from two seconds onward okay and stop here when the person cuts the second slice that is perfect i like how this is framed so now i have selected only a portion of this video and this is what i'm gonna go and work with so tap on done and now i have my second page all i need to do is to add my step here which is slice your salmon okay slice your salmon and i could add like the number of the steps so that would be two and i can slice let's slice your salmon okay so because i added the number two here maybe i go back to my first page and add a number one here in front of my first step so one like this cut your mango in dice i can do like this okay so i have step one i have step two slice your salmon all right i'm ready for step three which is add some nuts so I think you get the point on how to add different scenes to your video. So I'm going to create step three, add some nuts and step four, mix it all together very quickly so you can see the entire project. All right, so now you can see I have my four scenes, my four different videos inserted in four different pages. So what I'm going to do is to go back to each of these pages and to make sure the video plays for the right amount of time. Okay, so I'm going to tap on the cross to close this and tap on my video. Make sure you see this first one, for example, is 22 seconds. I don't need these whole 22 seconds. So I'm going to edit this by trimming. I'm going to start here when he's already cutting and then good. So that's good. I don't need too much of these video to show here. So about, yeah, about four seconds, I would say, or even three point five seconds. That would be enough. Yes. So that's good. I'm happy with this. Tap on done. Next page. I have my salmon video here. Again, I'm going to make sure I have the right portion. So I have here already selected. So this is good. Same for my final results. The last thing I want to show you is how you can add music to this video you just created. So for that, again, use the plus button to add another ingredient to your project and search for music. Once you're here, tap on the music tab and then you will be directly inside Canva's track library, the music library, right? And you can search for different things. So you can search for audio, let's say uh, recipe. Let's see if there are some music that go with recipe. Yes, there is one called the recipe. So why not use this one? Just tap on it and you will have uh, an opportunity to preview, to listen to this music right here which is good. And also you see there's a portion of this music kind of selected in this gradient color right here. That is the entire duration of your video project. So if you move this like left or right, you will see this interval of time is going to be moving along the track, the song that you have selected, because you can search uh, the passage of this track that you want to actually use in your video. Me, I'm happy with this. I'm going to use it from the beginning. So I just tap out of this and there we go. We have our music. The project is ready to export. So that's what I wanted to show you in this video. In the next one, we are going to look at how we can publish this video and share it with the world. Pro tip. Tap on a video element in your design and scroll the bottom navbar for editing options such as trimming, volume and position change.